Um, I'm a competitor, I'm a, you know, I'm a winner, proven winner, and I'm ready to go out and compete, and I'm uh, just ready to go out there and kind of do my thing. Ooh, he just put the NFL on notice. He said, hey, man, I'm a winner. I don't know what you is. I don't know what you is. But, hey, me, Drake May, I'm a born winner. I'm a proven winner. Hey, man, I like I, I like confident players, man. Talk, talk your stuff, man. Talk your stuff. But guess what? Better bag it up. His pro day just finished throwing. Drake May has just sat down myself, EJ Manuel, Lewis Riddick, and the man of the hour, Drake May. Drake, first of all, great to see you. Just take us through how you're feeling and, and what you thought went well. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, I thought it was a good day out there. You know, obviously a few wish you have back. Um, those are the ones you think about. But, you know, awesome to get out here. Uh, I feel like I had a long strip, about 70 throws. So threw it around a good bit, tried to show it all. And uh, just proud of the guys out there. We put a tough script together, and uh, I feel like we executed it for the most part. Drake, what went into putting your script together? Because it looked like you did more from under Center, which is not something you did a lot on yeah. your tape at Carolina. So what went into your actual script? No doubt. Yeah, I wanted to show that for sure. Um, you know, a lot of college now, you know, most of it's in the gun. Um, so a lot of the NFL games under center. So you got to show that. And I try to do that today and hopefully accomplish that. Um, but just show the, show, the, you know, show the teams that I'm comfortable under center. And it's not really um, something that's new for me, more just something that I'm practicing and uh, something that will come into its own. So. It, is, I like that he, he added some pro style, you know, things to his Pro days, he threw 70 balls. That's a lot for a pro day. That's a lot. I don't think I don't think most kids, or most adults, most quarterbacks in this draft threw like 70 balls. And the fact that he did some under center stuff bowls well. You know, I'm not the biggest Drake May fan at the moment, but I'm gonna have to watch some more tape. I don't think he's the third best quarterback on this in this draft, but that's just me. Let's keep it going. Is that something that was a point of emphasis for you once the season was over? Like, obviously, self-assessment is probably the most important part yeah. of this whole thing for you. For sure. So when you got together with the people who were helping you, what were the things that you said, look, these are the things I want to work on right yes, away? Sir. What were those things? Yeah, footwork under center. Yeah, kind of staying on time, staying on rhythm. Um, like you said, under, under center is a different game. It's a little bit. So uh, kind mm -hmm. of practicing those different drops, seven step under center, five step. You know, EJ knows about it. It's a lot different than just taking the three in the gun and letting yeah. it rip. Uh, so <laughs> really just that, um, kind of seeing my college game and taking it from that and just letting it rip out there. Drake, throughout this entire process, now that you're at this point where you just had your pro day, have you been able to exhale a little bit? Like, is this the first <laughs> moment where you're kind of like, yeah. I kind of rushed your shoulders a little bit after this performance. No doubt. Yeah, I think it's one of the first times you get to, you know, take a set, you know, step back and uh, say all that work done you know, for on the field is, you know, put out there, you know, for all the fans and uh, all the teams out there. And then from here, just um, getting ready for the draft and see where I'm going next. You know, you know, I've asked, you know, other quarterbacks exactly what it is that you feel as though you need going into the NFL. Because I think just as important as it is for player for teams to interview you, yeah. you're interviewing them. For sure. Because structure is going to help determine your success. And, mm -hmm. and you know that. So what is it if you were telling teams right now or you were telling fans, look, this is what I think I, Drake, may need in order to help me reach my potential, what would you say it is? Yeah, yes, sir. I think the biggest thing is for me to be coached hard. Um, I think I got a lot of talent. Um, I got it all. Uh, I, can, I can do a lot of things, you know, play on the move, play in structure, you know, play out of structure. I'll uh, just be coached hard and uh, just let me get a chance, man. Just give me a chance and uh, let's have yeah. some fun. Drake throw. I like that he, he volunteered to be coached hard because a lot of players don't like that. A lot of guys don't like when you when you coach them hard. But, and you know, Drake May is growing on me. He's still not number three to me, but he's growing on me. He's growing. He probably can be number four. He could be a solid number four for me. But I like I, I'm liking this this post pro day interview. I'm liking it so far. It's pretty good. Throughout your meetings, uh, was there anything that was recurring from some of the coaches and scouts that they might have noticed, whether it was a certain play or there was a certain throw that you missed, like the negative parts? Because, again, yeah. like throughout your meetings, you have some good and you have some bad because they're going to try it and see how mm -hmm. you respond to some of those questions they ask. Was there anything that was recurring throughout your meetings? Yeah, I think the biggest thing was uh, just not taking as many hits, kind of getting, you know, slide and not, you know, <laughs> right. jumping all around um, was the biggest thing they told me to kind of, you know, preserve my body. Um, but also, other than that, you know, get, sometimes I get a little antsy in the pocket, um, just trying to, you know, wait for things to open. Um, but other than that, I felt like, you know, I showed Today, playing in rhythm and playing with a drop, um, I can make those on time and uh, be on target. That's what I was going to ask something about. You know, he mentioned some of those things that that you had heard. What did you feel like you really addressed today that you wanted to? You mentioned the footwork. Yeah, Anything footwork. Else? Yeah, moving. You know, throwing off platform, throwing on the run. Um, I feel like that's something that's one of my you know best abilities, and showed that today. Um, where it's throwing intermediate, throwing deep, um, mm -hmm. throwing across my body, uh, kind of doing all sorts of things. I feel like that's one of my strengths in my game, and I uh, showed that today. Yeah, I think your tape kind of verified that yeah. too, dude. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. really need to <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. You know, you can turn on the Clemson game and see a couple good throws. Exactly. I think yeah. One or two. Yeah, huh? that's true. Yeah, yeah all right. I don't know about that. You're good to go. You're all right.
Uh, Drake, you, you know these guys out here I know mean a lot to you as For well. Sure. To have the opportunity to have Tez and some of the guys out here catching, uh, what does that mean to you and what do you feel like they showed as well? Yeah, it means so much. Uh, I was telling the guys, you know, we were in a meeting for the pro day, you know, the, you know, just last night. And I was telling, hey, guys, it's really the last chance for us to you know, really leave our mark and leave our legacy at North Carolina um, in our playing days. You know, this pro day is really the last, it, you know, it for us. Last time we were in Carolina and we're in here and doing some of the football. So let's leave a, you know, leave a mark, leave a, something good for the, for the people around here to um, kind of look back on and uh, just have fun with it. You, you've talked a, a lot, I'm sure, over the last couple of weeks and when you were at the Combine about what you bring to the table to an NFL team. What, what do you say? What's, what's your biggest attributes that you're going to bring at the next level? Yeah, I think just a winner, a competitor. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it doesn't matter you know, if we're you know, shoot racing that door over there, uh, playing, <laughs> you know, playing pickleball, playing whatever, um, or on the field you know, where it matters. Um, I'm a competitor. I'm a, you know, I'm a winner, a proven winner, and I'm ready to go out and compete. And I'm uh, just ready to go out there and kind of do my thing. Ooh, he just put the NFL on notice. He said, hey, man, I'm a winner. I don't know what you is. I don't know what you is. But, hey, me, Drake May, I'm a born winner. I'm a proven winner. Hey, man, I like it. I, I like confident players, man. Talk talk your stuff, man. Talk your stuff. But guess what? You better bag it up. But yes. Drake, how do, you, how do you plan on kind of embracing the new fan base? Because I remember when I got drafted, uh, there was things that were asked or, or put on me that I hadn't even known about because I wasn't watching yeah. the Buffalo Bills for years mm -hmm. when, I, when I was five years mm -hmm. old. And so how do you plan on trying to address that when you do get drafted and find out which team you're yeah. going to? Yeah, I think just keeping the mindset, hey, I'm not, I'm not going to know it all. I'm going to give it my all. You know, I think that's the biggest thing of being a sponge. You know, I'm not going to know everything. I grew up, you know, grew up in North Carolina. I went to North Carolina. I hadn't been much outside North Carolina. So all these, you know, all these different cities are new places for me. So I'm just excited to get there and uh, kind of soak it up and uh, learn something. Yeah, I think one of the most important things, right, regardless of position, is making sure you have those great relationships with Absolutely. the coaches, with everyone in the building. I've heard that you are you're one of those guys who, who's like that around here. Football and personal character mean a lot to NFL teams, and it's your, kind of your base and your foundation. And I would say I would, I would say that it's probably something that you believe that you will bring to an organization, in waves in terms of that positivity and no that doubt. kind of support. No, I appreciate that. Yeah, I think that's uh, just being genuine. Like I said, yeah. genuine relationships. Um, you're not going to go in there and be the hot shot rookie. Um, kind of learn everybody, learn different people, and then from there kind of speak up once you kind of earned your way. There you go. All right, so for me, hey, man, I think I can see a lot of the uh, leadership intangibles for Drake May, you know, that, and that, that, can, that can shoot you up a boy alone, being able to communicate, being able to talk to the guys, being able to gel and get that locker room behind you, that can shoot you up a draft board so fast. You see what happened with Jalen Hurts and the Eagles. Like, he, he he won that locker room over, and it was over with. So, I'm liking it. And to me, this this interview was more so confidence and not cockiness from from uh, Drake Make when I initially saw the headline. I said, uh, is he trying to go in that, that Kayla Williams bag? But I, I think this is more – confidence and not cocky and I, and I liked it I think he, I think he showed himself in a good light in this interview y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments